so I'm doing a random level generation thing and um romantic Manhattan music yo um and I'm using this node get all actors of class occasionally and then using those actors to spawn particular things using a seed so in a particular order but the seed results are different every time um which is not what I want because the purpose of a seed is to generate the same thing each time reliably um, but I'm getting different results because this get all actors of class returns things in a different order every single time well not every single time but most times it's it's in the same order but sometimes it's not and so what I'm about to build here is an algorithm which will sort this into the same results so I'm not going to talk too much um, but I just want to have this sorted the same way so that every time I use my seed generation thing I do get the same results every single time because this array instead of being in a weird order will always be in the same order so I'm not going to talk too much I'm just going to do it but I thought I'd film it um, if this was something that you're interested in learning how to do you can just follow along and that was a mouthful I should get back to work fuck <laughs> so I'm just going to do it by location um, actually you know what I could just say I can just get their length relative to the center of the map and then add that to an array. And I'm going to do all of this in a function library rather than in my game mode because I want to be able to reuse this. So I'm just going to crack open my function library. Um, sort actor array based on distance from origin. Origin just being zero, zero, zero. Um, array, that can be an act mm. type actor. Okay, so I'm going to the get actor location, and then and this can be a local variable, which I'll need to define down here. Distances. to be of type array and what I'm going to do is once I've got all the distances then I can oh. how do I can I sort surely there's like a fucking sort function or something well I guess what I could do um, for each distance Is it, yeah, I can use a min of float array. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this yet, but um, I'm going to do it. So bear with me. Um, so what I could do is I could uh, save this array up here. Oops, that can't be a variable. It needs to be a local variable. So let me just call this actor refs. weird because I couldn't tell you what I'm about to do but I can feel what I'm about to do and I've got a feeling that it's going to work so we'll save the actor references we get all their distances and then we'll find the minimum distance of the actor references and then we'll add that to an array which will be another variable which will be ordered actor refs The distance doesn't actually matter because we just want them ordered and once we've added it we can probably remove we can remove that index so we can remove the minimum from the actor the distances and we can remove the minimum from the actor references as well like that Actually, this will need to be the other way around. So 
So we'll find the index of the minimum distance and then we'll add that to the ordered array. So that'll be the first element. And then what we'll do is we'll remove the reference there and then we'll remove the index from here as well. And then we need to loop through until there's nothing left. So what we'll need to do um, is we'll get distances and we'll check the length. Uh, is it greater than zero? If the length is zero, then there's nothing left. So that'll go like that. And then once we've done this, we'll just plug back into that branch over there. So to neaten that up. And then down here we'll have our return node. And in the return node, we're going to have the actor references in order. Actor array in order. And they're arranged in order of smallest distance from the origin to the greatest distance from the origin. And of course, you could compare two vectors here instead of using just 0, 0, 0 as the origin you could get all their distance and arrange it in order from something else. Sort actor array based on distances from the origin. So in my case, what I'm going to do now is I will sort actor array based on distance to origin, and then now they'll always come out in the same order every time, from smallest distance from the center to greatest distance of the center.